Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Washington State Scholastic Esports Association's Twitch channel. My name is Flader and with me in the casting booth tonight, it's TBH. It's the time of the finals and we are going to start us off with some Carball Rocket League action. The teams, Eastside going up against Kennedy Catholic in a straight best of five series. TBH, why don't you tell us something about the teams? I am really looking forward to what these two can do because this is actually going to be a rematch from the regular season. Back then, mm -hmm. Eastside went into the game a player down. It was two versus three, and uh, that was not a good night at the office for Eastside. So they are looking forward to their chance at redemption here, especially because they climbed up through that bracket. They faced just as tough competition as Kennedy Catholic did, and they are looking to make Kirkland, Washington proud because they are here at state finals. And I will tell you, no team that makes it to state finals is here just to make happy memories. They're here to win, and they are confident they can do it. Absolutely. Both of these teams extremely competitive, like we've said before. And once again, a huge thanks to our sponsor, the Washington Army National Guard, for making this league possible and bringing us here into the grand finals week. We got Rocket League today, followed up by Valorant tomorrow, and some Super Smash action on Thursday, which is going to be casted by yours truly, TBH. So, a really exciting week ahead of us. But TBH, do tell me, what are you expecting from this game? What I'm expecting is... More of the same from Kennedy Catholic because they've they've been all stars so far. They've got Jeffy, Run Girls Run, a whole roster of talent. But also, mm -hmm. they've been studied. Eastside has had weeks to study them and figure out a plan. And they have their memories of their last game. I would not be surprised if they have been drawing off counter strategies and ways to shut down Jeffy's offense. Because if they can find a way to pin him down, that's much of Kennedy Catholic's offense off the table. That is much of their star power gone. Now, it's not only Jeffy. Everyone on Kennedy Cap, but you can see that he's been leading the charge so often. And I would frankly be shocked if we don't see him in an RLCS team or in college or doing something after this with his Rocket League career. We've already had scouts uh, sniffing around in the WA Esports channel, and I would not at all be surprised to see his career continuing. But here we go with the kickoff, and it is not Jeffy who wins that first kickoff. East side taking the fight to them, but here we go with the quick recovery and Jack of the Rizzo right there, right at the goal. Not able to get it in, not able to get that first score of the game, but they are making a real fight of it in front of the goal. What are you thinking of this start of the game so far as they just barely saved that second shot? East side prep starting off strong here. Kennedy Catholic got in a bit of a back foot for the first few seconds, but they catch it right back. Here they go with an opportunity on the offensive mm -hmm. side. Taken right back by the East Side here. Chanclas in front of the backboard does get the touch, but is it going to be enough? Yes, it is. Takes it onto the side. East Side prep. They have so many yeah, opportunities yeah. right here, but they haven't been able to take it to the back of the net. Jordan now off the side wall, looking to pass it down center. Opportunity is there, but they keep hitting the backboard, and it's going to be Kennedy Catholic with a bit of an open net for a second. Bit of an open net thing. You know, that's just a thing of diminishing returns and calculated risk speeds. You don't have enough people to cover the whole field and to just leave someone back there in the goal. You know, in theory, it would be a nice strategy, but then you're playing two on three. All right, let's see. Jacko coming in, passing it over, and Keon with the first goal of the game. What a shot. Passing off from a Jordan onto Keo's front bumper. Three teammates playing in perfect unison for that first goal. And Kennedy Catholic put on notice. They cannot wrap themselves up yet. Jordan to Jago to Keon. A three-man passing play to get east side prep. Their very first goal here. And here's Jordan once again trying to get another goal working. But it's Preston who beats him to the ball. No opportunity for a second touch. As Jeffy needs to make that happen. And, and he could have stayed up upfield for that pass. However, they've decided not to do so. Not yet. Kennedy Catholic still calm and collected with the kind of plays they're making. Here's Preston once again taking it up high. Preston, past one. Preston. Is it going to be past two? No, it's not. Hits the backboard. And it's Chanclas with the opportunity go! for a shot on target. And it's the goal for Kennedy Catholic. They've tied it all up with only 90 seconds into this game. What a way to start this game. They are both opening so aggressive and with such calculated teamwork. Such your coordination. No one person is taking on all the work. No one person is making it the them show. Everyone is just behind each other's plays, coordinating, communicating. This is really good rock so far. And Chanclas already with a second goal, but save. Right off the top of the board, here comes Jeffy, not getting his chance, bouncing off the wall. It's a two-on-one with him and the Eastside Prep team, but 
So far, still east side press ball, knocking it back down the field. Jocko the Rizzer following up, heading towards that goal, but going to pass it off towards midfield. Jonklas bouncing it back away onto Jordan, who tries to head it off. And so far, it is still Keon in control. And right now, Kennedy Catholic trying to gain control, but they are not having a lot of luck with this possession. They are having to fight for every little back. I don't know if these teams will have a lot more intent with the touches that they're making. Even right now, there has been a good amount of intent. However, I do see some passes here and there which would not make sense at the highest level of Rocket League. And at this moment, Kennedy Catholic and Eastside Prep, they are competing for the number one spot. So you can only expect the best of gameplay. The nerves are still there. However, both of these teams managed to make it work just fine up until now. Half the game remaining. Jordan sends it down onto the backboard. Great clear. Coming in from Chang Labs. There is this going to be Jacob the Rizzo trying to pick this up. The third man, however, there to pick up the play. Keon sending it over to his teammate. Eastside Prep stuck in the corner. Still looking to find opportunities to get out of their net, which they do. It's going to be Jacob with a bit of a redirect opportunity there. However, mm -hmm. Kennedy Catholic just a little too fast on the defense. It's going to be East Side Prep back on the counter. I liked Jordan's little jump there to knock the ball away, but he needed more backup there. He was there on his own, and Kennedy Catholic was able to take possession right back. But Jordan working his way up the field now. He just filled up on boost. Good way to rub some momentum from Kennedy Catholic, but the ball is all the way over on the other side now. Almost into the goal. Jeffy there, but Keon saves. Oh, oh no, not enough. Fetson with another goal. He was right there waiting. What a way to coordinate a goal. Jeffy occupying their attention, waving his flag in their face, and there is Bretson right there waiting to follow up. Uh, really unfortunate in front of the in front of the defensive post here for the orange side, east side prep. You know, they had a lot of time, they had a lot of space to get that clear going. However, the panic sets in, and when the panic does set in, it is nowhere near as what you'd want what you'd want to be what you'd want from that play it's gonna be kennedy catholic who come out on top here and it might just be another goal for them if the flick comes in keon with the save right in front of the goal line and an opportunity to equalize the game with only 60 seconds remaining they need to set up a pressure play at right about now however it seems like preston is going to be coming out on top here look at this pass down center the pass decently good enough keeps possession to themselves preston goes up high accuracy just not there and east side prep Still down by one. Still down by one, but there is Jeffy looking to make it down by two. Not able to do it. That ball is knocked away, but there's Preston yet again. You gotta love the coordination. You gotta love how they're always right there. I I know they're communicating on the mic, but sometimes it seems like these kids are reading each other's minds. Jordan making it a bit of a face-off. Jacko right there. 30 seconds left. He wants to make something happen here. If he can get that second goal or at least keep this ball alive, but there is Jeffy. Trying to squander their hopes, trying to make them all come to naught, trying to send them back to Kirkland in tears, not in glory. But there we have it. Preston right there again. What a fight this is turning out to be. They are both getting the measure of each other with this first game. And not quite there. I think that's going to be it for the first game. Jeffy running down the field is not going to be enough. Kennedy Catholic with the first game. And a huge play from Jeffy at the end there. Did manage to get control of the ball. Managed to just slide it onto the corner. Drop the ball down and get that first goal. As soon as the ball dropped, it is Kennedy coming out on top here in a 2-1 fashion. TBS, this first game was very close. We saw a little bit of whiffs coming in from both the sides. So what would you want Eastside Prep to change going into this next one? Eastside Prep, this will be me, me contradicting myself a little, but they might want to focus less on Jeffy, actually, because we saw several plays there where Jeffy used his reputation and his dominant offense to misdirect them. They, he got them focusing on him, and his teammates were there waiting in the wings to knock the ball, ball into the undefended net while the team was focusing on their top striker. But as we can see, Jordan really not in advantage of Keon right there trying to take the advantage, trying to take the momentum, and neither of them want this to be an any Catholic game. This is first to three, everybody. So this is actually a very important game for momentum. That almost went in. So did that. Eastside Prep with a very aggressive opening, and I like this. They are showing they are not gun shy. They are not intimidated, and they are not going to ease up. They are not going to take their foot off the gas pedal. But Jordan, Jordan, not enough. There is Jeffy. Got a bit of a Jeffy Jordan showdown coming up. In the corner 
On the orange side here, we got a Kennedy Catholic applying so much pressure. There's almost a matter of time. The east side prep runs out of boost. They finally find the opening to get out of their own half. Taken right back oh, by Pretz and a shot towards the goal. And it's going to result in Kennedy Catholic taking goal one in game number two. East side prep. Not enough power on those clears. It's going to result in Kennedy Catholic coming out on top. Yeah, that's something you always have to have in mind in this game. You have so few people to cover so much ground. Kennedy Catholic did a great job of drawing the east side prep defense forward, ahead. And there, Pretzen was waiting, going up the wall, sending its clear into an undefended net. While east side prep was too far ahead, with not enough boost to double back. Absolutely, and you know, like you said, like you said earlier, Eastside Prep, they really need to step up their offense here. I mean, Whoa. we see some really great plays coming in from them. As I mentioned, that Jeffy, however, manages to make an even better save. So Eastside Prep, we do see them playing on the counters. I want to see more and more offensive, mm -hmm. showing offensive pressure and better accuracy from them, so that they can manage to equalize this game. 90 seconds in, this Kennedy Catholic still holding on to this lead, and also this ball as they send it down center. It's Jake. Sending it onto the corner, the sidewall taken up by Pretzen, sends it down center for Jeffy, mm. opportunity for a shot taken into the corner, and it's just a lot of back and forth action between these oh. two teams at the last minute, with Kennedy Catholic applying so much pressure here in the orange half, but east side prep, all they need is one clear to set up a counter attack. Yeah, and they have their people right there waiting, almost there with Jeffy, but just barely saved. Something I've also noticed is they seem much more conservative with their boost. I say that as Preston empties his, but they seem more conservative and selective with it, which means they have it there in those clutch situations where they need to go hell broke, where they need to flatten down the pedal. Meanwhile, Eastside Prep, very aggressive with it, very happy with it. It was not always there when they need it, but Jeffy there with not quite enough, robbing a boost sphere there, but still you saw him stalling on the wall a bit. Preston sending it back down to the Kennedy Catholic goal. Bit of a scrum going on. Jeffy trying to wrest control away. There are two people on the Kennedy Catholic net. Keon trying to keep that ball, and it is heading towards the east side net, but they are not deterred. They are not intimidated, and it's Jeffy versus Keon for control. So far, Keon just a little ahead, and here comes Preston. What's he going to do? Nothing so yet as to give Creamy an opportunity for a 1v3 here. Well, does manage to make it work, sends it right back into the orange side, but no real opportunity for either of the teams, not yet. And mm. since Kennedy Catholic have that early goal, they have at that one oh, advantage. Jack, oh, oh, you gotta be careful oh, with that clear. Oh. Gotta be careful with that clear. It's gonna be Jake with the Rizzer taking keen advantage of it and getting that east side preps first goal to equalize game number oh. two here. A really unfortunate clear there for the defensive side. It's like he heard what I was saying about being more selective with his offense and his aggression because he was right there. He saw the ball coming at an angle. Is that going to be another one already? No, not quite. That was quite a save. That's almost, almost ate my words right away. But these sides showing a little more deliberation with their aggressiveness. They are not just charging in all for broke. They are picking their shots better, and that paid off a lot for Jacko. For Jacko, I'm not sure how he likes it now. But Jordan... Trying to keep up the pressure, trying to keep that pressure on Kennedy Catholic. This is not a team you can let get comfortable. This is a team you have to keep on the back foot. Anytime we've seen Kennedy Catholic drop a game, it's because people weren't intimidated. They were going blow for blow with Kennedy Catholic. 1-1 one, one being the game right now with only 60 seconds remaining. The next goal might just be the decider, the golden goal here for either the sides who's gonna be finding it is it gonna be Jacko as he see as we see him going up no. high he's gonna hit the sidewall unfortunately for them it's Kennedy Catholic still very much in possession as we see another opportunity for east side prep though saves coming in from press and left right and mm. center as we see jeffy sending it down center creamy takes advantage has mm. control open mm. net to work with jeffy can he convert it no he can't a huge whiff coming in from kennedy catholic side this is going to result in east side prep holding on to that equalizer for how oh! long though as we see jeffy coming in <laughs> with the shot on target great pass from pretzen and 25 seconds remain here in game two with kennedy catholic Catholic back in the lead. I mean, we've seen some pretty fast goals before. This isn't over for Eastside Prep, but what teamwork from Pretzen and Jeffy really proving why they've gotten their team this far. Jeffy, the king of last second goals in this tournament so far. But Jocko right there, Jocko again. Can he do it? Can he get it back in? No, save. 
All three Kennedy Catholic players piling in for that save. All three of them keenly aware of how important this is and what a blow to their momentum it would be if they dropped the ball here, literally or figuratively. But here we go, here we go. Is that going to go in? That's too high. So is that. That's not the right angle. If they can keep it off the ground, it is still a live ball. Can they get it into the goal? It is too high. And that is Kennedy Catholic. Two, no, not quite, not quite. I'm wrong. It and it's like two games to none, but what a fight they had right there at that last moment. Wow, some really intense action in that last minute here. Kennedy, Catholic, and Eastside Prep just going neck and neck up against each other. And we saw as the dust settles, it's going to be Kennedy taking that last goal from the pass from, I believe, that was Jeffy. And, yeah. well, that is game number two there, TBH. And going into the third one, Kennedy, Catholic, they're at match point. They are, they are. But... There's a bit of a pattern that's been popping up in this tournament. Kennedy Catholic takes the first two games, and then they get complacent. They rest, they fall back a little, and they drop the next game. And sometimes they drop the next two games. So they have to be very careful here, because this is when their opponents usually come alive. And we have seen that Eastside Prep is just as capable as Kennedy Catholic of coming alive out of nowhere and really surprising you, really handing you a shellacking that you weren't expecting. Jocko trying to keep the ball, not going to do it, he's going to get past him, but he is proving a dominant presence in the midfield that the whole team has to account for. Absolutely, and so far in both of these teams, you know, in this in this third game, oh, it's going to be Kennedy Catholic, never mind, I, I, don't wanna, I don't even want to talk about this, Kennedy <laughs> Catholic shuts me up completely, it's creamy, getting that very first goal off the whiff from the second man, and you wouldn't <laughs> want that in such a high stake game, Kennedy Catholic take the one goal lead, once again, going up against Eastside Prep here, and Kennedy Catholic, they are on the right track to be crowned the grand finalist, the winners of Vasia Rocket League Championship, did I speak oh, no, too soon, no I did already. not, Pretzen, He's just making it truer by the second. With only seven more seconds, Kennedy Catholic, they've taken goal number two. Two goals in the first minute. The second goal within seven seconds of the first. What a team Kennedy Catholic is. I was talking about this early on, but I would be shocked if we don't see these players in RLCS, in regional teams, in further tournaments, in college Rocket League. They are just such talents. They are so coordinated. They are such a strong team. And Eastside Prep really having to pull out all the stops, not only to stop the bleeding, but to hopefully make something happen here, because this is their last, last shot. This is their last chance to keep in this, to keep this game going, to keep their season going. And for any seniors on the team, it's their last chance to play Rocket League ball with these guys. Well, you know, Kennedy Catholic, they've just been a little too quick on the ball up until now. We mm -hmm. see them we see them going for plays that Eastside Rev is just not expecting. And so far, Kennedy Catholic, you know, it has been an absolute blowout from them. Taking two goals in a row here in this first minute. And in the second oh. one, a majority of the possession plays have been going into their favor. Jordan passed down center an opportunity for the very first goal comes in. It hits the back of the board. And Creamy manages to get it out of his own half with mm -hmm. Preston following it up. The dribble is just a little too good. The pinch onto the Orange oh. net is going to result in Kennedy Catholic taking goal number three, and it just cannot get better than any of this. Remember what I was saying about how they have historically dropped this third game of the set. They know that. They've been watching their match footage. They have been going over their past games through this tournament, and you can tell that this is where they've really started to hit the gas. They ha do not want to leave any doubt in anyone's mind who the champion really is. But Jordan trying to keep his team's hopes alive. Not quite able to get the right angle there, but still in front of the net. Go! Eon knocking the ball into the net off a pass from Jordan. And that is going to keep the team alive just a little longer. Three minutes and 14 seconds left. Eastside Prep might be able to make something happen here. They have put Kennedy Catholic on notice that this is not a done deal. They are not a finished team. They are not a stuck beat. Jordan against the wall, going off the ball. Not going to get it, but he is ready and waiting as his teammates send it down just a little high. And they get it back in. And they almost. Breezy sending it back out. Got to get it back out there again. This is turning into a brawl in front of the Kennedy Catholic net. This is not the game they were expecting. Eastside Prep was supposed to be done by now. They were supposed to be gassed. They were supposed to be demoralized. Not what they are getting, not what they expected at all. Keon waiting in the wings. His team is passing it down. Keon going for the shot. Another goal from Keon. Two goals on two shots. What a way to 
to loosen this gap. What a way to narrow the lead. He is keeping his team alive, and his team is falling in behind him. He is showing Kennedy Catholic what it's like to fight for the title. And some great passes coming in from Jordan there. Both of these goals being made possible by some phenomenal corner plays coming in from the man himself. Here we see Keon now once again looking for another opportunity for a shot on target. And he make it happen. Jaco the Rizzo takes it up okay, higher. Double well. touch could be good enough, but Preston pinches it right back into the corner. So we see the ball being picked up by none other than Eastside Prep as they send it down center. Jaco the Rizzo hits, hits it a little too wide, followed up by another inaccurate shot from Eastside Prep. And Kennedy Catholic finally find the opening that they needed to send it onto the midfield. Can they send it onto the other side though? Yes, they can. It's going to be Jaco. Rather, Jordan taking some time on the ball, taking a little too much time here. Jaco jump for it, which he does. A minute and 50 seconds remaining. Kennedy Catholic on the offensive side. A goal here could be catastrophic. So Eastside Prep. They need this flick, which they do get, but the save comes in from Freezy. Eastside Prep, one goal away from tying it all up. Yeah, one goal is all they need, and we've seen that that one goal can come so abruptly. Yet the second you take your eyes off it, there it is, and they are turning this into another brawl in front of the net. Eastside Prep away with the ball, but Freezy right there, sending it back, keeping the threat alive. He wants this to be. Oh, he wants the goal. To Bergen in the Seattle suburb champion. He wants to not have to worry about this. He wants to be done with everything and enjoy his holiday. But Eastside Prep not going to let it be that easy. They are battling on the wall. They send it off the ceiling. That ceiling shot not going to get anywhere near the goal. But that is going to lead to some valuable real estate. And we have a minute left. One minute for Eastside Prep to make something happen. Or for Kennedy Catholic to tighten the track. And to end this like they want. Get the title they know they so richly deserve. Jocko is sending it away, but it gets sent away from him. Jordan is right there waiting. Let's see what he can do. Off the wall, off the wall. Jocko's right there waiting, but maybe he's sitting too, waiting too long, getting the virtual sun in his eyes, knocking it away again. Not, he is right behind there with 30 seconds left. Can he make something happen here? Kennedy Catholic knocking it away, keeping it well away from their goal. And let's see. Freezy, Freezy. Jordan now, Jordan with the ball, Jordan following up, they are dribbling, they are dribbling and passing just a little wide and 13 seconds left, they have to make something happen, they have to make something happen with these 8 seconds, not what they needed, Bretson with the goal, 8 seconds left, and that is probably going to be all she wrote, that is probably Merry Christmas for Kennedy Catholic, because that is about the worst possible time for a goal, 8 seconds left, and this last kickoff, I don't know what you can even do in eight seconds. Yeah, I, and it, I mean, it doesn't uh, go along the lines of scoring two goals against a team like Kennedy Catholic, who have just secured the grand title, grand winner's position, which Ooh. they do with zero seconds. A consolation goal comes in from Eastside Ooh. Prep, but it's not going to be enough. That last goal is going to make oh. sure that Kennedy Catholic still managed to get that Last third game win, the best of five in a 3-0 fashion is taken by Kennedy Catholic. And so is the Vasia Grand Final winner title for Kennedy Catholic PBH. What a game it was oh, oh, and oh. what a series this has been. What a series indeed. What a way to end the season. What a way to send everybody home. That last second goal, literal last second goal, that was almost a storybook moment that was almost a fairy tale and you could see everyone's hopes riding on that jordan just a little too late if that had been like 10 20 seconds earlier we'd be having a whole nother conversation the kennedy prep was just on fire tonight they came in knew, knowing what they had to do believing in themselves believing in their teammates with the hopes of their classmates the hopes of their entire hometown behind them and they got the job done at. my goodness what a team they are and what a shame it would be not to see these guys playing in higher league and hey we're just getting started here this was the very first day of the grand final week we started off with rocker league tomorrow we're going to be having valorant same time around and i believe the fight for the third place is still going on we're still waiting on the results for that so stay tuned who catches the third place here in the grand finals it was linden going up against el Waco. so stay tuned to find out i mean but i believe it's going to be on twitter we'll find out soon enough who takes the win here but tomorrow some valorant action followed up by thursday super smash grand final 
finals. It's going to be a lot of fun this week. Once again, thank you to the Washington Army National Guard for making this league possible. This was the Rock League Grand Finals taken by Kennedy Catholic in a 3-0 fashion. TBH and me in the casting booth at Flated Cast and at M37B. A huge thanks to Ian for making this production possible. But this was Wasia, and we will be signing off. Thank you for watching, everybody.